The next is a stress relaxation response. So this one is probably the simplest of all. Our blood vessels can sense a little bit to some degree of pressure. So when they feel pressure pushing against them, they dilate a little bit. When the pressure is not there, they constrict down a little bit. Not as much as they would without, without you know, um, epinephrine or without ADH or something. They're gonna still constrict some. They're gonna constrict a lot more with those hormones. But basically, they feel pressure. I mean, it's kind of like path of least resistance. They feel a little bit of pressure, they open up just a little bit. The pressure goes away, they close down just a little bit. And so that helps regulate our blood pressure too. Shock happens when you don't have enough blood pressure, enough blood flow. So whether it happens because of sepsis, whether it happens because of um, you lost a lot of blood, you don't have enough volume, there's so many different things that can cause shock. Is it more a container thing or the actual volume of? The problem is, is with shock, typically at some point, your blood vessels dilate and your heart rate slows down. Or, well, not always. Your heart rate can still be fast, but really what happens is the blood vessels. So the container gets bigger then? Usually it's because the container gets bigger. Okay. All shock is considered hypovolemic shock until proven otherwise, because they're all very much related to hypovolemia. So anaphylactic shock, your blood vessels just dilate so much that you have the same symptoms as hypovolemic shock. So, but anyway, there, there, there's not enough, your blood pressure drops in tanks, and so you just can't get good circulation. Don't get quite enough oxygen to the brain and all your tissues, and you start to shut down.